Through George's Eyes by Rachel Rodriguez, illustrated by Julie Patchkes. Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, 1887. George's first memory. She will always remember these colors and the brightness of light. White all around. Soon Georgia runs and plays games with her brothers and sisters. Her father gives her sweets and plays Irish tunes. Her mother reads stories and cares for the younger children. Everyone works hard on the farm. Georgia roams the prairie. The trees and land keep her company. Pencil and sketch pad comfort her. She discovers she likes to be alone. Seasons melt into seasons on her family's farm. Georgia struggles to show on paper what she sees. At 12, she takes painting lessons. She tells her friend, I am going to be an artist. But in 1899, only boys became artists. A girl wishing to be one is scandalous. Georgia sees life differently. She paints and paints. Hours pass without notice. She wonders if she can achieve her dream. She walks around a lake and hikes into the woods. Everywhere she looks, shapes hum and sing to her. At art school, brushes and canvas become her language. Paint speaks for her. Watercolor and oil are her words. For a long time, Georgia lives in the city. She walks through canyons of concrete. She misses the outdoor world. The sun steals a bite from a skyscraper. The faraway place, open sky and land, calls her. The wideness and wonder of the world amazes Georgia. She wants to share this magic with others. Flowers delight her. She paints them as giants. People stop to stare. Georgia's flowers make them feel like tiny butterflies flitting through the universe of her garden. She moves to Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. Red hills, cliffs, silence, and the far away surround her. In the desert, she discovers extraordinary things. Skulls. The bones didn't frighten Georgia. To her, they are alive and strong. Their beauty astounds her. Georgia expresses feelings in her own way. Words work, but for her, the color blue says it better. Or red. Or a seashell. A pale bone. Sunset. The trees and hills whisper their secrets. They are friends, always there for her. A canyon calls her. From the bottom at dusk, she sees a long line of cows above, black lace against a dusky sky. She hikes at dawn. She climbs a ridge. The land enchants her. A range of hills is a mile of elephants with white sand at their feet. Sometimes her chow-chow tags along. He hops around rocks and chases antelope. They float ahead of her yelping dog. Georgia follows them. She breathes in the dawn. A sea of sage covers the plain before a mountain, like waves lapping against a shore. Sometimes she climbs a ladder to her roof. The moon rises above. Beneath a giant canvas of inky night and silvery stars, Georgia dreams. Even now, Georgia can show you the world as she sees it. Open your eyes and walk along. See the collars? Hear the shape singing? No need to hurry. Lean in. Look closer. Closer still. There. The wildness and wonder of the world.